Cross the ring. The counter punch. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and talk about this shit. Now, I know a lot of people out there, they don't even feel like Earl Spence and Mayweather is beefing. You know, they feel like this is all propaganda bullshit, right? Well, let me break this shit down to you guys. This is not bullshit. Now, it's not the type of beef where these guys are going to kill each other or they have to fight or they even have to spar again, right? What this is called, in my opinion, is like discreet beef. It's like, okay, you go your way, I go my way. But you say slick shit about me, and I say slick shit about you. If you read between the lines, you could tell these dudes do not see eye to eye. So if you one of these clowns out here saying that this is fake or people is reaching, you might want to reconsider. Now... For all the people out there, Floyd Mayweather and Errol Spence, unless you've been living under a fucking rock, you have to know that Floyd Mayweather and Errol Spence sparred each other a long time ago. And a lot of people know that Errol Spence got the best of Mayweather in that sparring. I got that full sparring story. I'm going to drop that after this video. So just be tuned just to give you guys a little trip down memory lane for a minute so after this video be patient i'm gonna release it within an hour i'm gonna release that video on the famous sparring between errol spencer floyd mayweather all right but besides the sparring between these two a lot of people don't know floyd mayweather wanted to keep this sparring session a secret he didn't want many people to know about this sparring but what errol spence did he let the cow out the bag and let the people know it's not just rumors and Floyd didn't like that he did it this is the root of this whole situation y'all is that sparring session and all Errol Spence did was you know he gave the root some water and sunlight and that is all that root needed when he released the interview I don't see that interview anymore they took the shit down and he explained the story of how Mayweather quit in sparring and of course Mayweather got whiff of that and he didn't like it what's the famous saying they say the truth will kill that's the example of this Mayweather's like damn not only this guy told the world that we sparred it don't take rocket science the way Errol Spence explained the story that he got the best of me but he also said that I quit he didn't like that shit y'all so that's when Mayweather started taking his little sneak disses. You know, saying, to, especially Terrence Crawford. He's been saying a little shit about Terrence Crawford and, you know, basically implying even at one point that Errol Spence wasn't the one that wanted to smoke with Terrence Crawford because Mayweather wanted to see Errol Spence lose so badly, y'all. Yes, he might not say it. Yes, Mayweather might keep it classy. And respectful when it comes down to Errol Spence, but Mayweather secretly is jealous of Errol Spence, not as a whole. I'm talking about his achievements at 147, y'all. So you got this guy Mayweather who never went undisputed at 147. He hasn't done it. And if Terrence Crawford does it, then you could say, yes. Don't get it twisted. It's something that Mayweather probably wouldn't like as much. But this is not a guy that basically whooped his ass in sparring. So he could live with that. But let me not forget this. Don't you guys know? I know a lot of people try to spin this off like it was a joke. Mayweather and Errol Spence, they was literally about to fight in the pros. Approximately like, I'll say about four years ago. Four to five years ago. I'll say five, six years ago. They was actually negotiating on this fight. Now, I know a lot of people probably wouldn't believe me. If you know, you know. They also tried to spin this off like it was an April Fool's joke. No, that's bullshit. This fight was actually going to happen. Mayweather wanted to take advantage of the inexperience of Errol Spence at that time. 
Okay? Now, don't get it twisted. Mayweather, he didn't take it. That's the reason that fight didn't happen because Errol Spence wanted that fight. Mayweather entertained it for a minute, but he was like, nah, we're just going to act like this is just a joke. But Mayweather know what's up because he thought about that sparring like, shit, this man Errol Spence might get on this main stage and whip my motherfucking ass. And some people out there kill me because a lot of people would just lie to themselves and say, sparring is just sparring. Let me tell you guys this. Sparring is still a fight. Yes, practice is practice. But I don't know about you guys. But you're not trying to lose at anything you do in life. It's not just because it's practice you're trying to lose. And Floyd Mayweather, yes, he might not box like he do on the main stage. But Floyd be actually in these sparring sessions trying to hurt people and embarrass you. We see him spar on footage, so what makes you think that he's not going to do it with a, a fighter like Errol Spence? Y'all making this thing like, old oh, sparring is just sparring. Man, Mayweather wasn't there trying to punish Errol Spence. It just wasn't working. When you guys show all these footages of Mayweather sparring with people, and he's dominating people, everybody's like, look at Floyd, oh, you can't touch him. Man. But when he's getting his ass beat, oh, it's just sparring. Yes, sparring is sparring, you guys, but it's a statement. So, yes, Floyd was like, hell no, I'm not going to fight him on the main stage and he embarrassed me. Floyd wanted to be the person to take out Errol Spence. And Mayweather ain't stupid. He know none of these guys is not beating Errol Spence except Terrence Crawford in his head. That's why he's clamoring for that fight because he secretly want to see Errol Spence get exposed by Terrence Crawford. It is what it is. Because if he loses to Terrence Crawford, we can't compare Mayweather to Errol Spence. And all this is in Mayweather's head. This is not me saying it. This is how Mayweather feels. And if you a smart man, you know everything I'm saying in this video is facts and the proof is in the pudding. Furthermore, Mayweather is no longer in the position where he can, you know, get back in the game or basically stretch his achievement in the sport of boxing any further. He's just not. And these YouTube fights that he's getting into, it's just not going to cut it. Errol Spence, on the other hand, he has the chance to go to 154, become undisputed, go to 160. Let's take it a step even further. Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. Errol Spence just may be able to go to 168. Floyd don't like this, people. 